is a, here we go. This is a tools complement. Uh, this is a sign number representation. They have listed several different approach, and this page is dedicated for the tools complement. Okay, but anyhow, we we have look at here uh, quite simple. So let's uh, let me show you uh, using the tools complement. Uh, no, let, let's use uh, Python, okay, kind of to explore uh, this idea. Okay, mm, so let's let's do it. Mm, let me switch. Okay, kind of turn off, turn off my uh, drawing. So that I can uh, literally type uh, in terminal. Okay, kind of tricky, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Okay. So first, uh, um, in Python, of course, you can you can type it. Use a help uh, to type this object. Kind of uh, looking at the the uh, help menu in uh, interactive mode. Okay, uh, but sometimes uh, you you can also go online. You can you can do the similar things that I just done uh, in uh, on a wiki. Okay, uh, but anyhow, uh, this is how we uh, the programming either reference uh, some resource information we try on our own, right? So. Uh, so I I'm going to kind of use uh, what I can remember. Okay, I remember we can use a uh, um, backslash s to define uh, the value, right? So what ab what about if I type this? Okay, hmm. They got a by object. Okay, uh, for example, uh, I have a variable called a i. Uh, what if I Assign. So what's the type of I? Uh, it's actually no, no, no. I made a round. Uh, I should be adding the B uh, before the string. So type I. Well, now it's a byte object. Okay, it's a byte object. Uh, so Byte object, uh, we can help byte object. Uh, we can help byte object this i, small letter i. We can see uh, they have uh, several uh, methods. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is uh, we can use a byte object and com convert. But what I'm actually interesting in is how computer uh, really interpret this this value. Uh, if we look at this byte object, uh, so uh, I would like to use an integer. Uh, integer is the uh, um, it's an object in the Python. Uh, here they uh, is our normal uh, normal number system uh, one two three four five uh, negative. So integer in Python is already support assigned uh, integer. Okay. So uh, basically, it's a uh, base ten, right? Uh, human uh, think the number in base ten. So what I'm interesting now is to uh, use. Oh, here we go. To use. Here we go. This. Okay. This one, 
Oh, womp womp. Uh, this method called uh, from bite, okay, from bite. Uh, from bite, uh, let's look at the, its method definition, okay. From bite, they have uh, three parameters, okay, or four parameters. Uh, they the second parameter define the byte order and they have a, another parameter uh to represent side uh, actually you need to assign it a, a boolean value uh, if it's a given by default it's a false uh, if you given it as a true which means that you are going to treat it your byte as a as a uh, side, okay, side, so which means that they sometimes they will encounter the negative numbers, okay. So by using, given your by string here, okay, uh, 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 given the endurance of the by order, okay, we'll be talking about that later on. This is another big, big interesting part uh, in Py, in uh, computer fundamentals endiness okay and giving the sign or on sign you can look at it's actually integer value okay from the given array of bytes okay so here is what you actually want to use so how can we use it because it is a um, integer object uh, or integer class i can use int okay I'm going to use a, this method from byte. Okay. Um, and we are going to use at uh, this the uh, two parameters. Uh, by default is on is four, so it's on sign. Okay. So you can put your byte string here. Uh, for example, uh, zero zero. Okay, which means that in hexadecimal zero zero, okay, uh, you can give it a sign flag as a true or false. Okay, uh, the result of course is a zero. Okay, but if it's a x f f, this by object is true, they will interpret as a hmm, quite interesting, right? So. Uh, this is a, a little bit explanation. I hope to uh, support you to understand the following I'm doing. Okay, because it is quite um, quite uh, uh, advanced. Uh, it's not like as easy we 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 learn uh, number system kind of internal representation in the computer. Okay, so let me. Let me show you, okay, what I'm doing now. Okay, show we. Okay, hmm. so um, I'm going to use integer from hack um, from bytes, right? Uh, I still remember the first parameter I am allowed to assign. Uh, my byte object. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. Hmm. I mean type. Hmm. Here we go. Uh, so we got we got uh, correct answer. Okay, this just a single tiny byte will be represented as a zero uh, by using the uh, in this case, uh, it's on sign, right? Uh, on sign. Okay. So let me, by adding one, uh, remember this is a hexadecimal representation. Uh, one. Yeah, no surprise. Two. Okay. A. 
Remember, hexadecimal A uh, means uh, decimal. It means 10 in decimal, right? Base 10 uh, decimal system, right? No surprise, right? Uh, B, B will be 11, C, 12, D, E, F, right? So, uh, so let's move on. If if I keep doing this, uh, this is the internal form of. Uh, um, uh, it's a little bit tricky here, but I'm a, a professional. <laughs> I'm a professional. I'm going to use uh, my particular set of skill to help you understand. So here, here we go. We now uh, zero 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 zero, and so we we consider this as a zero f right. Okay, in hexadecimal. So if I uh, by adding this adding one list, okay, that will become the zero zero zero. One and they'll become here, right? So what is this value? What is this value? Okay. Mm. Mm. Can I can I temporarily uh, turn off? Hmm. Go slow. Yeah, this is what I really want, <laughs> the special effect. <laughs> I use a special tool to allow me to draw something on my screen, okay? But sometimes it's quite tricky to switch back and forth because I, uh, when, sh when should I use the uh, uh, typing mode? Or when should I use the drawing mode? Uh, I got confused, okay? But I'm not getting better, better at uh, switching back and forth. Hmm. So, so if I type this one zero, uh, remember this is a hexadecimal, right? Hexadecimal here, this bit uh, is is sixteen, right? So here we go. So uh, we can do this. Uh, we can do this. Uh, we can continue do this. Uh, let's test. Uh, let's test. Uh, zero one one one. For example, one 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 one. How should I? How should I write about this in hexadecimal? Uh, this one will be uh, uh, seven, right? Uh, seven F. Okay. Quite tricky, right? Seven F. Yeah, that's the maximum capacity of the of the uh, seven bit, okay? If I, by adding one, by adding one, okay? By adding one, yeah, here we go, we adding one. Uh, if I adding one here, we will become right here, right? Uh, here comes the interesting part of the, uh, the distinctive feature between uh, one's complement to its complement, <laughs> or all of things that get that uh, uh, student of the uh, beginning uh, uh, journey in computer science uh, have a big headache. Okay, so here we have this number. Okay, so we want to look at uh, different uh, representation system how it look at it. Okay, so first. 
uh, let me type this into our code. So what is this? This is actually um, eight, right? Eight zero, right? Yes, this is eight zero. So I'm going to type Okay. Hmm. So now I didn't I didn't put the second parameter uh, of this. Remember, uh, they can have uh, another parameter called the sign. Okay. According to the document, the default the sign this flag is false. So if I didn't specify anything, uh, this this one byte will be treated as uh, unsigned. Okay, so here is a cool things, uh, a cool thing. Uh, now I want to, I want to uh, what I'm doing. I want to. Okay, I want to add. S I G N E D. Uh, I want to assign this attribute. Uh, use the same same byte uh, eight zero, uh, which literally means one zero 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 one zero 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 zero. zero. Okay, <laughs> very difficult to pronounce for me as non-native English speaker. So, but now I treat it as a uh, side, but two complement. Hmm. So, what would you expect its value from our previous from our previous explanation? Uh, maybe twenty minutes uh, long explanation uh, Wikipedia. What would you expect? Not this one. Will be this, right? Yeah. So let's see if we got the correct answer. Hmm. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. So here is uh, the things that if we use a side uh, number system in modern computer, uh, they, will they will be using the two's complement. Okay, so the same code, uh, default, false. Uh, this, in this case, it's not a sign. So they will, they will be treated as a, um, uh, a all positive number. Okay, All right. Okay, so what else we can we can do in in this exploring? Mm -hmm. Let me let me uh, switch back here and I'm kind of busy. Uh, remember what mode I'm I'm in. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to explore. Hmm. I'm going to explore. So eight indicate the sign B was already on. Okay. Uh, uh, what if I have F F. Everything is on. True. What value do you think will it will be? Correct. Okay. Because because uh, in two's complement uh, representation, yeah. In two's complement representation right here. Uh, 
uh, this value uh, this is the table of the two's complement right okay uh, so we got the this one okay but if we use the uh, unsigned digit uh, to look at it, it's a 255. If we use a sign integer, and also specifically using two's complement implementation, okay, there will be minus one. Here we go. Okay, we have enough of a uh, highly technical internal insightful. Uh, uh, yeah, using uh, technique, okay, using Python uh, by the object to explore uh, this this tricky things. I hope that you uh, appreciate uh, what I'm doing now, and yeah, my job as a teacher is to help you understand deeper. Okay, so see you next time. Bye bye.